Hi everyone and welcome back to the sixth episode of Grammar TV for 2020. I'm Hayden Allen. And I'm Charlotte Pillsbury Milne and we will be your hosts for this episode. Your mom and dad are doing fine. You guys are on my mind. You asked me what I wanted to be and now I think the answer is plain to see. First up, we have the second instalment of Yammer TV, which is presented by Josh Fulton and edited by Lockie Snell. Hey Josh, they're recording. Oh, yeah. Um, are you looking for a new episode of Yammer TV? Well, I've got you covered. <laughs> Hello, I'm Josh. I'm the presenter of this yes segment. Now, you didn't see anything, okay? Now, to start off this segment, we got a post from last term. It's in the Minecraft Club, and we all love the Minecraft Club, don't we? Now, Chat zone has been deleted. Now guys, I know this is in the Minecraft club, but we're not gonna judge him. We're totally gonna judge him again. Now, this unnamed person has posted, what is the best sport? Now, most people say none of the above, as there are not many options on this poll. For me personally, I'd say hockey, but for Hayden Allen, who was a presenter of this episode, he said, quote, Go Collingwood! Okay, now that's enough. That, we don't need that team here, okay? Now, before we go, Come closer, okay? Okay, now, that's good. Now let me just tell you this, don't forget, like and subscribe to this video, shameless self-promotion, and I'll see you next time on Yammer TV. Go Collingwood! No, Richmond is always number one. Besides that, we have the first ever game show called All Things Grammar, created by Lily Dunn, Kat Stewart, Mackenzie Grant and Asha Pohan. A representative from each house battle out in a set of grammar trivia questions. Let's see who knows our school the best. Brown. B, brown? Uh, brown. Is it brown? Blue. C4. H2? C3? Oh. <laughs> so in the midst of it. Oh, Lord, I lift your name on high, surely. Is it shine, Jesus, shine? Shine on me? No? <laughs> Jesus, your light is shining or something? It's a grammar song, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no, it is! Oh. Uh, math? Math. Math. He teaches maths. Math. Dr. Clemens? <laughs> Miss Bourne? Or Miss Woodall? Miss Woodall? What's the spirit cup? <laughs> Wilkinson. Roll. No, Gillette. It's Gillette, yeah. Gillette? Uh, Gillette. Well done, Jasmine. I'm sure your house will be proud. Savney has finally won something. Better, not, better luck next time for the rest. As you know, each year the grade 12s fundraise and walk 80 kilometres for a charity of their choice. This year the grade has decided to support Fight MND. We interviewed Molly Walcock about Fight MND. Here's the story from Minnie Brown, Mia Ainsley, and myself. So, motor neuron disease is a disease that affects the motor neurons, which are basically, they control um, your muscles. So, when someone gets motor neuron disease, they lose their ability to walk, talk, swallow, and eventually breathe. The um, origins of motor neuron disease is unknown. There's no known reason why you get it. So, that's why we're fundraising for it. 
So we chose um, Fight MND as our walkathon charity this year. We chose to support um, motor neuron disease because a few people in our grade have really seen the devastating effects um, among their close friends and loved ones. Um, we chose the charity Fight MND because it is the only charity in Australia that focuses on research um, to find a cure rather than supporting people with MND. Um, we also chose it because it was co-founded by past grammar alumni, so Angie Cunningham co-found Fight MND with her husband Pat, along with Neil Danaher and Dr Ian Davis. So the rest of the students in the school can support it by raising awareness, so knowing what the disease is and knowing that there is no cure, um, there is no effective treatment and there is no cause, there's no known cause for it. Um, students can also help by sharing around the link. Um, we have a web page we've just set up which has all of our current fundraisers on it. So we are selling hand sanitizer at the moment, we're selling socks and it also takes you directly to our fundraising link which shows you how much we've raised so far and you can directly donate through that link as well. Thank you Molly and the girls for that segment. The website where you can find more information about the course and help raise money will be linked down in the below in the description box. Teachers will be participating in the Big Freeze in a few weeks, so stay tuned to find out how you can pour freezing water over your favourite or least favourite teacher. This brings us to the end of this episode of Grammar TV. Thank you for, for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye. Goodbye.